Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project e appointment system. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I'm using is the PHP version 7, and MySQL version is 5.6. Right. I have used a uh, gem server for developing this project. But if you have the web server or other PHP based Apache and MySQL based server, then you can easily configure and run this project on those servers. Currently, I'm using the Windows system. But if you have the Linux operating system or the Mac operating system, then you can easily configure this project on the MAMP stack for Linux LAMP stack. Right. So this is the server side technologies and the operating systems which I have used for developing this project. For front end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like for form validations, I have used the jQuery validations uh, for the sliders and the calendar plugin integrations. So these all technologies I have used for developing this project e appointment system, right? So let's start with the functionality go to. So the project title is e appointment system and it's a PHP and MySQL DBMS based major project where admin and patient can log in. There are two types of role inside this project. The first one is the admin and second one is a patient. Patient can register and book the appointment. Admin can log in and manage all of the things, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project and it's a, a static page. There is nothing dynamic on this. <laughs> this is a about page and it's a static page. If you want to change the content, then you can change from about.php. <laughs> this is a register from where you can register and you can perform certain uh, operations. Means patient can register and patient can book the appointments. This is a login. This is a role based system and there is a single login form for both admin and patient. If patient login, the internal functionality and internal menu will be different. If uh, admin login, then internal functionality and internal login will be different. This is a contact us page, and if this is the static contact us page. I am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I am not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. This is the login. Right. So if I log inside the system uh, with the patient first. So the user ID is patient and password is test. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can register and create your user ID and password. This is the home page. Here you admin can see my appointments and wait. Uh, so my appointments right here, admin can see my appointments. If admin doesn't have any appointments, then he will not be able to see any of the appointments, right? He can see the change, update his uh, update his account password and log out, right? So I am going to log in as an admin, right? So here, this is the admin dashboard. From here, admin can perform these operations, right? You can see there is a broader uh, functionalities covered by the admin, right? So let me show you. This is add system user. From here, admin can add more admin users, right? This is the add new appointments from here. Admin can uh, uh, book the appointments, right? So now I'm going to book uh, doctor name is equal to suppose Ajit Singh. Okay. And appointment date, you can see this is a cat window plugin. This is a time slot, patient name, and suppose social and the number mobile number right and the address once you click on the submit then you will be able to see the address here right all of the details will be uh, all of the appointment port will be displayed here right once you click on the edit then you will be able to edit the details right okay so now i am at new time slot so from here you can add the time slot and those time slot will be appear here inside this right you can see there are three time slots only if you want to add new time slots then you can add new time slots from here this is a add new bill from here admin can add the bills right suppose any if admin want to build title or uh, test bill right bill date admin can add here bill amount and the description okay test bill right admin can submit it and admin can see the test bills here right and we can edit and delete it also suppose if i want to delete the first one i can delete this one also right this is a report all of the system users so currently there are two system users that's why it's showing sorry there is only single system user so it's showing the 
system user, right? The appointment report, all of the appointment report will be displayed here, right? This is a time slot report. From here, all of the time slot will be displayed and the bill report, all of the bills report will be displayed, right? This is a change password. From where admin can update his account password and the logout. Once you log out, then administration menu will not be displayed. So let me show you. So administration menu is not displaying, right? So these functionalities I have developed this these functionalities I have developed inside this project. If you need more functionalities, then just put it into the comment. We will incorporate those changes. We'll make this project more better and better according to your requirements. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.